Hi guys, I have no makeup on, but I just wanted to share a poem with you that I wrote, um, and it's very personal, it's called Dear Jesus, it's what I would say to God, um, and I hope you like it. Dear Jesus, I've been down here struggling, and I know you're up there watching. If you would send a few angels down with messages, I'm not going to stop them. I feel as if I've been walking the same path for so long. My legs hurt and I'm exhausted. My days consist of becoming stressed, but eventually I feel like someone or something's always testing me. And I can never guess if at night I stay calm enough to sleep peacefully or if a seizure will sneak up on me. Can I be honest? I don't know what other people see when they look at me. I suppose it's a good thing they think I'm so innocent. But in my mind, something's about to blow up because a little broken child who never got to vent her hurt or anger now just cannot get rid of it. When I was young, I feel like I was not allowed to cry. They all hated when tears would fall from my eyes because it was a sign of weakness. They just would tell me to go to my room. In my room, I would only have two things, my stereo, because I loved music, and the vision of me being happy and feeling free. If you know the things I still see in my head, then feel free to remove them. I know this is not my fate. I know that there is a vision or a place you have not shown me yet. I know you've seen me down here doing a lot better than I have in my past. I've changed my attitude a lot. It may not be completely gone, but it's better, and that's a fact. I know I have not been taking care of a lot of my responsibilities that I should. Laziness is a part of it, but taking the doctor's candy is hard too. But I know it's also good. Although it is very hard for me to take a seat, I still feel like I'm still feel myself falling. And I just want to land on my feet already. Please don't think that I'm blaming you for anything. I want you to know that I think that would be too selfish of me, especially when I know what my part was in all these mistakes that I've made. I know you give us a few options for doors to open, we choose, and then the decision is final when we close it. I'm just a little bit desperate, need more guidance, and I'm almost ready to admit I've been turning staring at the bottle a little bit more, but I know it will cause an unhealthy addiction. I've ran out of things to say for now, but I am sure I'll be back again. Until then, it's time to say goodnight. And that's the end of it. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a part two. Just because there's a lot that I did write for that, but didn't put in it. Because it's long enough already. So making a part two would be the next option. Which is fine. I've been writing a lot of parts for songs, so plan on sharing my music, lyrics, not music, because I don't make the music, I just make the lyrics, or the poems, whichever I'm in the mood for. This was more of a poem, obviously, um, and then... Sometimes I just make random things. And I'm going to post another poem tomorrow. I just got to piece it together. I got a lot for it. But like I said, I got to piece it together to make it sound like an actual poem and beginning to end. But it is good too. It's about my epilepsy. So, And there will be a lot more songs or poems coming out because I'm going thankfully to a cognitive group therapy which is like a trauma center group thing and yeah I plan to do a lot more and share a lot more of my stuff so that was it for now but if you liked it, like it, and if you can relate to it, like it, 
and subscribe to my channel. And I also have a TikTok now. So if you see this and you want to add me on TikTok, just put in sexy businesswoman. That was my that was my simple name. I didn't really know what to come up with. So But go ahead and add me. Um, and thank you for letting me share my poem.